Hello, my name is Mikito Nanashima. Today, I'm going to talk about this topic, non-adaptive black box reductions for basing auxiliary input cryptography on NP hardness. So let's begin with introduction. So this work is related to these two fields, worst case hardness in complexity theory and cryptography. And as you know, there's a huge gap between these two fields at present. And one of the most challenging tasks is to construct one-way functions based on the hardness of NP problem. In other words, to show this uh, implication. One basic approach for this problem is the following. So let's say F is a candidate for one-way function and uh, to construct a reduction from solving some language L uh, to breaking or inverting this function f. And if this problem uh, L is NP hard problem, then we can show the above result. Because uh, this f is not one way function, then we have some polynomial time adversary for breaking f. And by using this reduction, we can also solve this problem L in polynomial time. So that's why we can show the counterposition. But uh, there's a specific barrier uh, such a uh, uh, reduction, especially the type of reduction that is non-adaptive black box reduction. So in fact, uh, many brilliant results uh, in theoretical computer science have been developed by using such a very simple form of reduction. And in this case, non-adaptive black box reductions look like uh, this figure. So first, this uh, reduction R is given some input X and uh, accesses to uh, adversary for F as black box. And this R uh, makes its queries uh, uh, parallel or in one round. And if this adversary returns the correct answer, then this R can uh, recognize the characteristic of uh, X. So this is a very simple and very familiar form of reduction. But unfortunately, the previous work showed that if we can get such a reduction for this problem, then we can show uh, areas contained in uh, AM intersect called M. And if there is NP hard problem, then this implies uh, the collapse of polynomial hierarchy. So in other words, under the very uh, reasonable assumption on polynomial hierarchy, we can exclude uh, such an attempt. And this uh, previous result might look uh, a little negative, but this gives very important direction for us. The first one is developing non-black box, non -black box uh, techniques. And the second one is uh, developing uh, adaptive uh, techniques. But at present, uh, there is a few success story on such a somewhat complicated technique. So it might be very challenging task to uh, get such a, uh, such a uh, reduction for this problem. So the goal of this work is to uh, suggest the third choice that is to change the goal or in other words, uh, to uh, get uh, intermediate uh, cryptographic primitive instead of standard uh, cryptographic primitives. So in this work, we uh, focus on auxiliary input cryptographic primitives as intermediate primitive and which is originally uh, introduced by Ostrovsky and Wigderson. And uh, such a primitive is not one specific function, but uh, defined as a family of functions. And it has a weaker security condition like this. So for each polynomial time adversary, depending on this adversary, there exists at least one secure function for this adversary A in this family. And the reason why such a primitive uh, is interesting is uh, breaking such a uh, auxiliary input cryptography can be formulated as a kind of worst case of average case problem. Because uh, for this polynomial time adversary, this adversary must uh, break all functions in this family. That is worst case sense. But for each function, uh, the game for breaking this primitive can be done in average case sense because the uh, uh, instance uh, is generated according to some uh, probabilistic procedure. And that's why this is a very a natural intermediate uh, model between usual worst case hardness and average case uh, cryptography. And in fact, there is a previous work uh, to exclude uh, non-adaptive black box reduction from uh, NP hard language to uh, average case problem. But uh, it is not clear uh, that we can uh, apply such a previous work to this auxiliary input cryptography case. And um, for more uh, detailed uh, observation for uh, 
the reason why such a uh, previous work cannot be applied in this case, please refer to the proceedings paper. But so that's why uh, the important question is, so if we try to uh, get uh, auxiliary input cryptographic primitive instead of uh, usual primitives, uh, whether no adaptive black box reduction are sufficient or not. And we address this question in this uh, work uh, as a, a first step for uh, such a study on intermediate cryptographic primitives. Okay, now let's see our result. But before looking at our result, uh, I will explain more about non-adaptive black box reduction. So R is a non-adaptive black box reduction from a uh, language L to breaking uh, some auxiliary uh, primitive P uh, if this R is polynomial time and randomized and non-adaptive Oracle machine. And for any adversary A breaking this primitive and for any instance X of this problem L, this R uh, given access to A can recognize the characteristic of this X with high probability. So this is a formal definition. And in this work, we uh, consider uh, very fundamental three types of auxiliary input primitive. The first one is the auxiliary input version of pseudo random generator. And the second one is one wave function. And the third one is heating set generator. So we uh, consider these three primitives. And I will explain later uh, the details uh, for uh, these primitives. So first I will show uh, the relationships between these, uh, so among these primitives. For auxiliary input pseudo random generator and auxiliary input one wave function, so their uh, existence are indeed equivalent. And uh, the third one, auxiliary input heating set generator, is implied by the first one, second one. And in fact, this is a much weaker cryptographic primitive uh, because it is weaker than the hardness of uh, running. So now uh, let's see our result. Uh, so our result is the following. If we can get non-adaptive black box reduction from this NP hard program to uh, breaking auxiliary input pseudo random generator, then we can also show that the collapse of polynomial hierarchy. That's why under the very reasonable assumption, we can exclude such an attempt. And we also consider uh, the case uh, of auxiliary input one function, auxiliary input heating set generator like this. And so in this case, in fact, we could not show a strong result such as a corrupts of polynomial hierarchy, but we can show uh, still very surprising consequences. So that is, uh, we can e extend this relationship uh, to one way function, which has uh, infinitely often security, uh, sorry, infinitely often security uh, via adaptive black box reaction. That's why we can get NP based one way function. And in fact, this is uh, not strong to exclude such a uh, non-adaptive black box reduction. And it has uh, two opposite uh, interpretations. So negatively speaking, this can be regarded as a hardness result for uh, getting such a non-adaptive black box reduction because uh, to get uh, such a non-adaptive black box reduction is harder than uh, to get NP-based one-way function. So this must be hardness negative result. But positively speaking, it uh, can be also regarded as a, a new approach for NP-based one-way function because uh, to construct a usual one-way function, we don't need to uh, see one-way function anymore. And uh, all we have to do is just uh, construct auxiliary input uh, cryptography be a very simple uh, reduction. Um, but uh, for both perspectives, uh, our work enhances the uh, importance for, of further research uh, on such uh, intermediate cryptographic primitive. And for the first uh, result and second result, uh, some people might uh, think why these consequences are different because uh, yeah, these existence are equivalent. So the reason is uh, all of the, the known construction of auxiliary uh, pseudorandom generator based on one wave function uh, uses some adaptive security reduction. So we cannot uh, translate uh, this uh, the second uh, non adaptive black box reduction into the first non adaptive black box reduction without losing any uh, non adaptiveness. Okay, now let's move on to proof sketches. 
So for each uh, cryptographic primitive, first I will explain more about uh, each primitive, and then we uh, will show a uh, proof idea. Okay, let's uh, begin with uh, the case of auxiliary input pseudo-random generator. And pseudo-random generator is roughly speaking uh, the primitive uh, for uh, stretching a short random seed uh, into uh, a long pseudo-random string. And the auxiliary input analog is defined as follows. So G is auxiliary input pseudo-random generator if this is polynomial time computable and a uh, storaging function and there's no polynomial time adversary which uh, distinguishes this G. And this part means that for any auxiliary input, this A can distinguish pseudo-random strings and truly random strings with a non-negligible uh, advantage. And now for the first result, uh, first assume that, uh, uh, we assume that uh, there is a non-adaptive black box reduction from NP hard language to uh, breaking auxiliary input pseudo-random generator. And the goal is to show the collapse of polynomial hierarchy. And the key part of this proof is uh, to show this part, no adaptive black box reduction from this problem to uh, average case NP problem in error setting. And if we can get such a reduction, then we can also get a uh, no adaptive black box reduction from NP hand language uh, to average case problem. So by using the previous work, we can get the corrupts of polynomial hierarchy. And in fact, so this key part is also very simple, just a uh, we define this L prime as uh, the image of G like this. And now assume that uh, we have some uh, errorless heuristic scheme for this problem L prime, let's say A. And this errorless part means that the following, this A output zero or one or some special symbol bot. And if A outputs zero or one, then this must be correct answer. Okay, but uh, A can also output uh, the symbol bot, but only on a small fraction of uh, instances. And if we have such a, an LRS uh, heuristic scheme, then under enough stretching of G, we can uh, regard this A as a valid uh, adversary for this primitive G. Because if this A is given pseudo random storing, then this uh, storing uh, must be contained in image of G, uh, that is uh, L prime. So A, A must output one or both because this A is errorless. On the other hand, for almost all truly random strings, so A outputs zero because the number of pseudo random strings is uh, quite a few uh, compared to uh, total uh, random strings. And uh, in fact, this A can also output uh, both, but uh, only on small fraction. That's why a, all, for almost all two random storings, this A output zero. And this A can also distinguish, it, uh, distinguish these two cases. Uh, that's why a, this A is a valid uh, distinguisher for this uh, generator G. And obviously this reduction is no adaptive black box reduction because uh, we use this, uh, this uh, heuristic scheme A only once. That's why we uh, can show this uh, result. Okay, now let's move on to the second uh, auxiliary input one-way function. The one-way function is roughly speaking a function whose computation is very easy, but uh, the task of inverting is very hard. And uh, the auxiliary input analog uh, is defined as follows. So f is auxiliary input one-way function if this is polynomial time computable and there exists a polynomial, uh, polynomial p such that no polynomial time adversary a can invert this f with advantage e, e this part. And this part uh, means that uh, for any uh, auxiliary input, this A given uh, functional value can uh, find one of inverse element of the given uh, input with this advantage. And this is a formal definition. And for the second result, first we assume that there exists a no adaptive black box reduction R from NP hard language to breaking auxiliary input one way function. And the goal is to uh, extend this result to uh, one-way function. So this is a key part uh, in this work. So the proof idea is the following. First, uh, now we have uh, a candidate for auxiliary input one-way function, so we can translate it uh, into auxiliary input pseudo-random generator by using standard cryptographic technique uh, via 
adaptive security reaction, then we can use the first result. Uh, so we can map this uh, into uh, the problem NP, uh, sorry, uh, average case NP problem. Then the goal is to show this part. And since this L prime is NP problem and this L is NP hard problem, so we also have a couple reduction from L prime to L. Then uh, we consider the following procedure for uh, this average case problem. First, we select uh, L prime's instance X prime at random. Then we put it into uh, a cup reduction. Then we translate it uh, into L's instance. And now this X is L's instance. So we can put, so we can use this reduction. We can put it uh, into R with uh, randomness. And uh, since this R is uh, no adaptive black box reduction, so this R uh, can uh, output uh, several queries parallelly. And if we can answer these queries by some inverting oracle for F, then this R must output L of X. And this must be equal to L prime of X prime because of the condition of the cup reduction. That's why this procedure can correctly answer the characteristic of uh, this X prime. And the key observation here is in this procedure, there is no worst case sense at all because this input is selected at random and this uh, R is also selected at random. So perfectly average case. And that's why these queries or more specifically these auxiliary inputs are also selected uh, according to some polysamplable or distribution. And originally this inverting oracle uh, can invert any primitives uh, for uh, any uh, auxiliary input but in this procedure, this uh, inverting oracle uh, does not need to uh, break all auxiliary input anymore. And uh, this uh, I uh, ne only need to uh, invert functions uh, with respect to such a, a polynomial sampleable distribution. And this idea leads to uh, our construction of one-way function. So let's say the candidate is F and uh, this F takes uh, four input. And this F imitates the above procedure as for So first uh, put this X prime uh, uh, into uh, the cup reduction and the resulting, so put the resulting instance uh, into uh, uh, black box reduction R with uh, the given randomness then this R outputs several queries. Then uh, this uh, function choose one uh, of uh, auxiliary input and this I is a random input here and output the functional value like this. So F Z I of X F and X F is also a random input for F. And so intuitively speaking, this F imitates uh, the above procedure, especially the situation of this part. So if we have a uh, adversary for this uh, function f, then with hyperbarity, with hyperbarity we can ex, uh, we can repress the inverting oracle with this adversary. And in fact, this is a little technical part, but if uh, we can also make this procedure errorless. So roughly speaking, this is because uh, this r is uh, yeah this uh, reduction in assumptions and. If we can uh, give uh, valid uh, inverting oracles, then this R has a potential for solving any instance X. That's why by using a proper testing method for uh, this adversary, we can uh, make this procedure errorless and we can show this part uh, because yeah, we can reduce uh, average case problem in error setting to uh, inverting some uh, polynomial, uh, sorry, uh, one-way function. That's why we can show the second result. Okay, now let's move on to the final uh, third result, uh, auxiliary input heating set generator. So heating set generator is roughly speaking one-sided error version of a pseudo-random generator and uh, defined as follows. So D is auxiliary input heating set generator if it is polynomial time computable uh, stretching function and uh, there's no polynomial time adversary which avoids uh, this uh, generator G. And which this part uh, means that uh, for any uh, auxiliary input, 
this A accepts large fraction of uh, randomness, random strings. But uh, this A does not accept uh, any pseudo random string uh, generated by this uh, GZ or uh, like this uh, figure. So A accepts large fraction of randomness but avoids uh, the image of GZ. And this is a formal definition. And for the, for, uh, for the third result, uh, first we assume that uh, no adaptive black box reduction are uh, from NP hard language to uh, breaking uh, auxiliary heating set generator. And go goal is to extend this uh, to one way function. And the proof is originally motivated the previous work for uh, heating set generator. Uh, so let's say these queries are generated uh, by this R. And the key idea is to divide these queries into light queries and heavy queries as follows. So without loss of generality, first we can assume that uh, these queries, uh, sorry, for these queries, uh, the manual distributions are equivalent to some specific uh, distribution QX. Uh, this is done by uh, applying permutations over the positions of queries uh, before asking them. And we also use the notation on P of uh, Y by uh, D to refer to the conditional probability that this query is generated uh, con uh, conditioned on the auxiliary input is D. And we also set uh, a proper threshold tau like this. Then we define light queries as a queries uh, whose prob uh, conditional probability is uh, less than uh, or equal to uh, this search for it. and otherwise we define such a queries as heavy queries. And in the end, uh, uh, we will answer these right queries uh, by one and heavy queries by zero. So for simplicity, uh, let uh, OL uh, denote uh, such a uh, oracle. And if this OL is a valid avoiding oracle for this generator, then uh, this uh, reduction R given access to OL can uh, correctly answer the characteristic of uh, this uh, input x. So now let's see several observations for uh, this uh, oracle. Uh, in fact, so this OL can accept large part of uh, random strings. Uh, and in fact, uh, we can uh, easily show that the uh, number of heavy queries is bounded by uh, the inverse of tau threshold and which is much smaller than the total number of uh, pseudo, uh, sorry, uh, random strings. But uh, there, is, uh, there are two problems about uh, this oracle. The first one, is, in fact, this is not a uh, valid avoiding oracle for this G because uh, there exists this type of queries. Uh, we call uh, uh, such a, uh, queries as bad queries. And the reason why these are bad uh, it's uh, so this bad query is uh, right query, so that's why this OL uh, is uh, the answer of this OL is one, but by the uh, second condition, the correct answer must be zero. So this OL cannot uh, answer correctly such a bad query. That's why this OL is uh, not valid uh, avoiding Oracle. And the second problem is we do not know how to simulate such an oracle because, yeah, more specifically, we do not know how to determine the given queries uh, light or heavy. But in fact, the first one is not so prob problematic in this case because the probability is that such a bad query is generated according to this distribution is very small. Uh, this is roughly because uh, for each uh, auxiliary input D, uh, the conditional probability uh, uh, that this right query is generated is very small uh, by the definition of right query. And uh, in fact, the total number of bad query is, is also small because uh, the number of uh, this uh, image GG is also small. And in fact, we can show, uh, we can bound such a bad uh, probability above by a uh, one over polynomial uh, of uh, the length of D. 
that's why so this OL is invalid uh, in, uh, avoiding Oracle, but with high probability uh, over the uh, execution of reduction R, this OL uh, behaves like a valid Oracle. So we can uh, conquer this problem. And for the second problem, the key part is estimating, the key part is the task of estimating this value to determine light or heavy. And uh, for this problem, we apply a, a universal extrapolation technique developed by a in progress and Levin uh, for auxiliary input setting. And we reduce this task of estimating to uh, the task of inverting some auxiliary input function. And by more uh, careful observation, in fact, this uh, we can show that this uh, reduction is indeed no adaptive black box. So we use these two observations. And uh, we can, uh, by these uh, techniques, we can reduce uh, this task uh, to uh, breaking uh, auxiliary input one way function via non adaptive black box reduction. That's why we have uh, now we have a uh, non adaptive black box reduction from NP hard language to uh, inverting auxiliary input one way function. Then we can use the second result now. So we uh, translate this problem into uh, breaking uh, pseudo random generator, and we uh, also translate this problem to uh, average case problem. Then we can uh, construct NP based one way function. That's why we can show the third result. Okay, in conclusion, um, in this work, we considered non adaptive black box reduction uh, from NP hard language to uh, intermediate auxiliary input primitives. Especially, we consider these three primitives uh, pseudorandom generator, one way function, hitting set generator. And in the case of auxiliary pseudorandom generator, we can exclude such a non adaptive black box reduction uh, under the reasonable assumption on polynomial hierarchy. And in the cases of uh, auxiliary input one way function and auxiliary input hitting set generator, we show that uh, such a non adaptive black box reduction implies uh, NP based one way function. And this can be regarded as, a, positively speaking, a new approach for NP-based one-way function. And the important future direction is to uh, verify the validity of this positive uh, perspective. And I will share with you uh, more uh, two directions. The first one is to consider other cases where such uh, intermediate primitives or intermediate problems uh, might uh, be helpful for constructing such an NP-based one-way function. And I believe that uh, this direction will help to uh, reduce the task of constructing NP-based one-way function to much smaller uh, intermediate path and uh, to identify the hard core uh, to uh, show such an NP-based one-way function. But uh, yeah, there's still possibility that uh, these uh, non-adaptive black box reduction also implied, uh, implied the uh, collapse of polynomial hierarchy. That's why the second direction is to exclude such a non-adaptive black box reduction, especially for one uh, auxiliary input one way function. And I guess the uh, most uh, natural uh, approach to uh, show this part is uh, to uh, construct auxiliary input pseudo random generator based on auxiliary input one way function, the non-adaptive black box security reduction. But at present, at least I, uh, do not have any idea uh, to construct such a uh, very simple uh, security reduction. Okay, that's all. Thank you for your attention.